hello guys today i'm going to dockerize our existing django app here so first of all i'm creating a virtual environment so all the dependencies will be there for the my project so you can see that uh, environment is created now and now i'm gonna activate that now i'll install the django so here is the command pip install django so django will be installed here as you can see django is successfully installed here after installing the django i am gonna create a new fresh django project here so command is django hyphen admin star project and the name of the project will be core so my project core is successfully created now i go i will go to the my project directory and i will create a app inside my project named is my app so here is the command python manage.py start app my app so my application is also created in our project now what i will do here i will migrate all the default migrations here and all the migration I have successfully applied now i will start the server python manage.py run server as you can see the server is started and now i will open the application in the browser localhost colon 8000 so as you can see our basic django app served successfully so here to dockerize our existing django application we have to create uh, two files one is docker file and another one is uh, docker compose.yml file so as you can see i am in my root directory of my project where manage.py resides now here i will create a new file which is called docker file make sure d should be capital here so i have created a docker file another file i will create which is name is docker compose dot yml now i will write some commands in docker file so first of all i will choose the base image from python and the version of python should be match from your system you can check here I am using python 3.9 so I will write here 3.9 now I will write environment which is python unbuffered equal to 1 now I will say docker to run a command or create a directory named app so what docker will we do it will create a directory named app now i will specify the working directory so that will be app so i will mention here slash app so here i will write another command which is copy requirement.txt to the app folder so it will copy my requirement.txt to the app folder After copying this, I will say docker to run a command pip install hyphen a requirement.txt which will install all the requirements to the app folder. And after that I will write a command copy and it will copy all the dependencies to my working directory which is named app. So the next step is here, I am gonna configure docker compose.yml. So here in this file what I have to do, I have to mention the version of the docker here. So I will write the command here version and I am using here 3. And you can use the services here. So I will use the service and uh, in this I will use the web service. So I am writing here web and uh, I have to mention build. So here build should be in my current working directory. So I am using here dot. 
after that i will use the command what command should i use to start the project so that will be python manage.py run server and ip address should be 0.0.0.0 colon 8000 because i want to accept connection from everywhere now i have to specify ports here also so i will specify ports here port should be 8000 colon 8000 now we are good to go with the docker so what we have to do here we have to just uh, build the all the dependencies to the docker now one thing is remaining here to do we have to create a requirement.txt and mention all the requirements in the requirement.txt file so i'm gonna pip freeze all the requirements to the requirement.txt file as you can see requirement.txt is created in project and all the dependencies are there now we have to only run a command docker compose up before that we have to format this file and indentation matters in the docker compose.yml file so make sure your indentation are correctly configured otherwise it will throw an error so I have indented it, my file now I will write a command docker compose up and uh, it is building my images and uh, installing pip install requirement.txt and uh, as you can see all the dependencies are installing and uh, layers are exported and my server is started as you can see my server is started it localhost colon 8000 now I will start in the browser as you can see my application is running successfully via docker thank you so much guys for watching the video